This is how you install Ubuntu from a USB into a fresh PC with as few complications as possible. I've been using Ubuntu on a virtual machine for a while now and while I've enjoyed that experience, I've always felt like cramming Linux and Windows into the same space limits the capabilities of both systems. So in this video, we are going to be installing Linux on its own hardware. To install Ubuntu, we are going to need the following. First, a PC that we are going to install Ubuntu into, a 16GB USB stick or larger and another PC to download the system image and create the installation media. You can technically use the same PC we are installing Linux into but keep in mind that once we make the installation media we are going to be wiping windows off that system. Speaking of which to create the Ubuntu installation media just open your browser and go to ubuntu.com. In here click on download Ubuntu then download Ubuntu desktop. You'll need to choose which version of Ubuntu to install. You can go with whichever version you like, but I suggest the LTS version. In my experience, the LTS version is best because you won't run into random bugs as often as you might in the short term releases. Whichever one you choose, please make sure you check the system requirements first. These are non-negotiable and must be met by your hardware before you attempt the installation. First, you'll need a 2GHz dual core processor. Next is 4GB of RAM and then 25GB of free storage. And finally, a USB port. Forget about the DVD port because DVDs don't exist anymore. Once you've confirmed that your system specs match, then click on download to start downloading the Ubuntu system image. While the image is downloading, click on Ctrl N to open a new tab. Then go to Google and search for Berliner Etcher. It should be the first result. Click on it and then hit download and select the installer for the OS that you're currently using. Once both are downloaded, install Berliner Etcher. Then plug the USB into the PC. From there, open Berliner Etcher and this will ask you to select the Ubuntu image we downloaded. So yoink and then boom. After that, you will need to select the USB stick. Please make sure that the USB stick doesn't contain any important files because this process will erase everything from the USB. And also, double check that you don't accidentally select your SSD here because that will result in catastrophic system failure. Once both are selected, click on start and Berliner Etcher will start creating the Ubuntu installation media. This will take about 10 minutes depending on your system. When it is done, simply unplug the USB and of course blow on it. <laughs> Just kidding, plug it into the system that we are going to be installing Ubuntu into. Before powering the system on, please make sure that a keyboard is connected. Then press the power button and immediately and repeatedly press the F12 key to bring up the boot menu. From there, we simply select to boot from the USB and then pick the first option to begin installing Ubuntu. One cool thing about the current versions of Ubuntu is that they will let you run a live version of Ubuntu from the USB before you install them. This will be a full OS running on the USB. It doesn't have persistence, so please don't bother downloading apps or saving files on it. It is just here to give you an idea of how Ubuntu will perform once it is installed. But you clicked on this video to learn how to install Ubuntu, so let's do that. Sometimes, and by sometimes, I mean often, you will get an error saying something like, you can't install Ubuntu until you turn off RST. RST basically stands for Intel Rapid Storage Technology and it is a Windows feature that manages SATA drives in RAID mode and Ubuntu doesn't support that. So to fix it, you simply restart your PC. Then, as the screen goes off, press F2 to get into the BIOS. In the BIOS, go to Configuration, then SATA Operation, and change the SATA Operation to AHCL. Then save and restart. You can now boot from the USB again, and this time, it should allow us to install Ubuntu. Once we're back here, click through the following steps. Here, you will need to choose Install Ubuntu. In here, simply select normal installation and then check the boxes for third party software to install Wi-Fi and media codecs out of the box. 
Now comes the important part. If you want to dual boot Windows and Linux together, you can choose this option here, but I need a dedicated Linux machine, so I'll choose to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. This will erase everything on the PC, so make sure that nothing important is saved on it. Mine has a bare installation of Windows 11, so that's not an issue. Click on install now, and then click on confirm. In here, you'll just need to create your account, then select the region, and wait for the installer to finish. Once it is done, reboot your PC and remove the USB when prompted. When mine finished, it already had my Wi-Fi dongle detected, which was great, but the Wi-Fi couldn't connect right away, so I had to fix that before doing anything else. This video was focusing on how to install Ubuntu, so please check out this video here to learn how to fix the Wi-Fi issues if you run into the same problem. Be sure to like the video and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.